Good morning, my loves. If this is your first time here, my name is Maya. Welcome to another vlog. So, y'all, we are about to go ahead and do some everyday makeup. I'm about to try to hop up out of this house or so. I wanted to do something real quick and easy with you guys. Um, your girl is not even going to be wearing any lashes today. I know. Who is she? <laughs> <laughs> but I want to just do a quick and simple um, makeup routine with you guys. Trying to help you guys know how to look good every day while I'm still learning myself. So <laughs> that's what we're about to do. And we're about to switch cameras because I wanted to feel like a makeup tutorial instead of just a vlog tutorial. So let's do it so we can go. All right, y'all. I also just threw some earrings on because um, I need a little razzle dazzle. It's feeling a little... Little, little basic right now. So, <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, we're about to make this super, super quick and easy. I didn't want this look to be anywhere near a hard thing to do. So, for that reason, I'm actually not going to laminate my brows. I am using my Anastasia Brow Wiz to just create like some brow hairs. And this brow wiz does have like a very sharper tip, smaller tip, so it makes it super easy for me to just draw on what I want to draw on. I feel like it's a really good tool for anybody to use because it's good for whatever you want to do with your brows. If you just want to add some darkness or you want to actually add, you know, brow strokes, it's good for all of those things. I'm gonna brush them out y'all and that's it for the brows, quick and easy. I'm gonna just throw on a little bit of primer. I'm using my Too Faced Plump and Prime primer because you always want to make sure you have a good layer of primer on the face regardless of how much or how little you're actually putting on and y'all i really want some coverage today so i feel like when you're doing like an easy easy makeup tutorial you still can get coverage but you gotta have the right product so i'm using the um good apple skin perfecting foundation balm and the shade is in tan 074 and i know y'all know about this child because this was everywhere when it first came out because of how pigmented it is one swipe just has like so much pigment in it. Usually if I'm going for something super, super quick, I'll grab like my stick foundation. But for me, this is like kind of a cream version of a stick foundation that I think is re a really good alternative that'll give me a little bit more coverage. Also, when you want something quick and simple, I feel like the tools that you need is super important as well. For me, the Beauty Blender is a good thing to use to really make sure everything is nice and blended and it doesn't take too long to do that because you're just patting the face essentially. The next thing y'all know I like to do to make sure I'm looking like something is add a concealer. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of concealer underneath the eyes down the nose lift the eyes a little bit it's not too much but something just to kind of like give us I'm gonna zoom in for y'all something just to kind of give us you know some dimension and some different different shades in the skin you never want to just do foundation because then you end up looking like an egg child that ain't what we want <laughs> so I'm just hitting it with a little bit of concealer and blending out with my beauty blender now I do have some foundation on my eyes, so I'm just gonna take my beauty blender with excess uh, concealer on it and just blend that out since we're about to just go ahead and set everything. So now I'm just gonna go ahead in with my powder and I'm trying to just use one to wipe a powder to really set everything. I'm just kind of pushing it in. We're not really like baking or doing anything like that. And I'm also doing the same thing on my upper eyelids just to, you know, make them look like everything else. <laughs> Cause I truly feel like the key to, you know, a quick face is the base and making sure that it's good. Cause from there you have, you can or cannot, you know, add other things. Your base has got to be flawless. And from there, you know, you really could go like this. <laughs> but you know, if you want to add extra stuff, I'm going to go in with a bronzer real quick. And this is my Yacht Life bronzer from Minted, which is a beautiful red tone bronzer, which is perfect for my complexion. I freaking love it. I'm dusting a very light perimeter around my nose just so that I have a little bit of nose definition but not too like sculpted out. And since this is a basic face, I don't wanna go in with any blush but I am gonna add a smidge of some highlighter just to kind of make us pop a little bit, give it a little extra razzle dazzle. <laughs> and y'all, this is pretty much the face. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face real quick. And y'all already know I'm using my all nighter for that because that is my favorite. And then just gonna kind of push it into the skin with the butt of my beauty blender. I'm gonna pop on my lip gloss. And this is our face. But obviously we are missing a little something something. 
if you can tell. <laughs> Usually I am a lash girl, but if you're on the go, and especially for those who are not very skilled with doing the lashes, you gotta just throw on a mascara, but not just any mascara, a good one. Thank you so much to Revlon for sponsoring this portion of the vloggy vlog. But today I want to show you guys the Revlon So Fierce Eyes Wide Open Mascara. If I'm gonna go for a mascara on my eyes instead of lashes, I gotta know that it's gonna do what I need it to do, okay? I have really short and stubby lashes and that is the reason why I always tend to put on a false lash, but if I have have a mascara that's gonna give me some lift and some volume that I need then mascara is what it's gonna be and this so fierce eyes wide open mascara is perfect for that so it does wear for up to 24 hours and it does contain hemp seed oil to condition the lashes and also for healthier looking lashes and it does come in a waterproof shade which we all know we need <laughs> I'm a crier. So having something that's waterproof is perfect for me. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to a one a lash first so that you can kind of see the difference between each one. I always like to grab my lashes from underneath and then wiggle and pull it up. The curve of the brush does lift my lashes, which I really, really love. And it kind of gives me that wide-eyed lash look. Also, if you're looking for added volume, you can also go into multiple coats. So you can already see the difference how this eye is looking more wide open and more, you know, lively. <laughs> bringing our look together versus we're looking real naked and nothing over here. You barely can tell I have lashes. And you guys also know that I love a mascara with smaller bristles and these have the small bristles that I really, really like. They really grab each hair and just gives me all the volume that I need. This is our difference. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can kind of see how it's looking. And for me, that is a huge difference. <laughs> Cause you know, I ain't trying to leave the house without no lashes. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I really love about this mascara after wearing it a few times throughout the day is that the volume is super lightweight and it's flake and smudge resistant. So that's always really, really good. And you can clearly see the difference <laughs> from before with my eyes. I feel like I definitely look more awake. It kind of finishes off our basic makeup look. I definitely can admit that there aren't many mascaras that I feel like really open my eyes up and make my lashes look like they're actually there. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the one thing that I do love about the Revlon So Fierce Eyes Wide Open Mascara. Definitely make sure you check this out. I will leave the links in the description box for you guys to check out and purchase this new mascara. Thank you again to Revlon for sponsoring today's vloggy vlog. And let's get out of here, y'all, because it's getting late and I'm trying to have a full day. <laughs> What's up, babes? Oh, what's up? I'm not gonna say welcome to a new, new weekly vlog because I believe I have to insert something before this. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah guys, it is a Friday. We are still in Atlanta. Yeah, we are still in Atlanta. I am doing my hair, um, y'all. It is literally, what time is it? 3.30, just turned 3.33, 3.33. Um, yeah, it just turned 3.33 p.m., y'all, and uh, I feel like I've been getting late starts since I've been here. Of course, I've only been here for a day, but you know what I'm saying? Um, just because I've had work to do and then, you know, everything with the loan and then I was on the phone with my lip. Y'all, it's just so much stuff. If you've never purchased a home, child, I'm kidding, ready. And I see why they say don't like get like a big bank to do your loan because y'all, the way my lender has been like involved in everything, like I can't imagine being with a big bank and not being able to call the lender and get numbers and you know, like get recalculations and things like that. Like I can't even imagine that. Like I can't imagine that. So I'm forcing myself to get out. I told you guys like this trip, I wanted to like get out and um, go look at furniture, even though I'm not buying anything yet, but just, you know, allow myself the space to get excited about everything. And so I want to do that, but I feel like, and my sister has already prayed with me on this, um, but I feel like the devil is like trying to make me focus on other things. Like, cause at this point we are 100% getting this house. Like we went over worst case scenario stuff this morning. Um, cause we're, today's the last day of due diligence. And I'm like, yeah, the worst, th worst case scenario, we're still doing this. So at this point it's 100%, thank God, <laughs> that we are getting this house uh, pending all the loan stuff going through. But it's like, I feel like the devil is kind of like 
trying to have me focus on things that don't matter at this point. Right now, what matters is I'm moving to Atlanta and I'm closing in two weeks, period. No matter what happens between then and now, that is happening. So I'm not about to be discouraged. I'm not about to be hung up on the numbers. I'm not about to be hung up on what if this happens, what if that happens? Because at the end of the day, it's happening, you know? So my sister, you know, she told me that and she helped me out this morning and just was like, look, be encouraged, allow yourself to get excited, you know, drive around your neighborhood, go look at furniture, take pictures of things you might want, go to restoration hardware, like do all the things. And I was like, you know what, you're right. Cause after just dealing with everything this morning, I was just, you know, in the bed and I was like not feeling like getting up. I just wasn't, um, not because I'm, you know, upset or anything. It's just like, it's just stressful. And then on top of that, you know, been going back and forth with my managers and things that's due and turning in the vlog and editing and just doing life stuff for me, you know? So I've just been trying to, is that a gray hair? Oh my God, you should be used to it now. You have at least 10 in your head. It's fine. Anyway, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm being intentional about staying excited and, and not, you know, not doing things, not not doing things because I'm worried about this, this, that, and the other, you know? So, y'all know I'm a real big on intentionality. So that's what we are about to go and do. So... I'm also extremely hungry. Um, I just ate a little bit of the, uh, what's it called? A little bit of the crab boil that I had last night, which should not have been the first thing that I ate, child. It should not have been the first thing that I ate, but it was, so. I'm gonna go and see if I can find something to eat. Then I'm gonna go and find some furniture stores. Um, I also wanted to explore the neighborhood later on, so of course I'm not gonna vlog that for safety reasons, <laughs> but yeah, that's the plan for the day. And then I got a little date tonight. So I got a little date tonight and then, um, yeah, that's gonna be today, y'all. That is going to be the day. All right, y'all, we are about to head out. Let me show y'all what I threw on real quick. We are pretty casual um i got on these express shorts these leather shorts they come with a little tie but i left the tie at home um this is from macy's i think this bodysuit my gucci slides my fendi bag and that's it we also did not do um makeup today we just have on brows lashes and some lip and and that's about it sis we're just gonna roll with this today because <laughs> it's so freaking late and i want to eat and get to stores before it gets dark because i want to get back to the hotel tonight to get ready for my little date or whatever tonight so <laughs> just need to make sure i got my phone um uh, my keys my key for the room and uh, is there anything else we need maya where's the rest of my cash i think that's when i have more cash than this I think I have another 50 somewhere too. So let me make sure I got all my cash. And then first things first, food, because I'm starving. I'm gonna go in one store first before food and then, uh, but it's Friday, it's Friday evening too. I probably should go get food first. Let's do that first and then. Uh, yeah, we'll get some furniture stores. What's up y'all? So we just drove over here to this sushi spot. I'm about to get some sushi real quick. I actually have in my ear, a lone person who's verifying stuff so they got me like on uh-huh my bad y'all i got cut off um but yeah i think we got one more call to do they got me on a conference call um where they're calling like my creditors to verify like my stuff that i have due and all that all that jazz so anyways um you're in my ear <laughs> let's go get some sushi real quick and there's an ashley furniture across the street so I think I'm gonna hop in there and see what they got. I had a bad experience with them, but we just gonna, we gonna see. Hi, just for one. Uh -huh. That's perfect, thank you.
okay this is the weirdest angle yeah my next car i have to like literally make sure i get a car that is good for like <laughs> mounting and putting my camera up but um yeah yeah we just left sushi this is probably gonna fall but you know it's fine i'm about to go across the street to ashley furniture i have a bad i have a real bad experience with ashley furniture home store huh? yeah i have a horrible experience with them oh i can't go this way what what is happening how do we get out of here um i bought some stuff with them when i first got my other house and it was a mess it was a mess when i bought from them before and it just it, it just wasn't gonna work but you know i'm out and we may as well you know what i'm saying we might as well go over there and see what see what's going on in there so i just want to just look around <laughs> So I also don't know what possessed me to have these shorts on today because it is cold, it is breezy in Atlanta today. The sun is out, but it's super cloudy. So I'm gonna keep that in mind tonight when I get dressed to go out. But they also have a, a Ulta Beauty over here. I, I will talk about that in a minute. Let's look at furniture or see if they have anything. They might not even have nothing in here. I'm trying to figure out what um, kind of sectional or what I'm gonna have like at the, on my, uh, landing area i need to i have um boards for everything in the house except for like my landing loft area so i'm not completely sure like what i'm gonna put there so we shall see because like something like this i don't think i want to do like because it'll be like up against the wall i want to space out the room a little bit more while I'm walking through here, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and put up some of my boards. I showed y'all before, but just so you guys can see the vibe of what we're going for in the house. Cause I feel like Ashley Furniture is not really gonna have the exact vibe that I feel like I need or that I want. So, so I say we're just in here. Y'all ever tried a Tempur-Pedic? Oh my God, that is so comfortable. Oh, I would die. Oh, oh I need this. Oh, this is so nice. I would be in the bed all the time. <laughs> definitely did not have anything in there i i already knew that about ashley furniture though they their style is just not my style so you know that ain't the one but it's just exciting to be at this part of this process you know <laughs> we're about to run over to ulta beauty y'all because um hold on i'm gonna tell you in a second it's freaking cold out here after ulta beauty i think that might be it for the furniture stories i might go <laughs> somewhere else i'm being a little lazy today honestly i brought the Be beekman 1802 um probiotic what is it um their moisturizer if i can think of the name of it i'll put it on the screen it's my first time using that have anybody any of you guys ever used it because it is super like um what's the word i'm looking for watery i didn't know if i was tripping or if something got into it if i need to shake it up but it's super watery and it's not doing anything for my skin i love the tula um moisturizer so i let amira take that uh with her to my mom's so i'm about to go into ulta beauty and grab me one because um yeah we need that i am really about to be sick out here y'all it is freezing it is freezing cold and i did not come prepared I did not come prepared. I got some jeans in the room, but I do not have any closed toe shoes, so there's that. What I need is literally right here in the front. Legit. Yeah, y'all, this is the one I've been using. It's 
I'm gonna get this one. All right, y'all. We got our moisturizers. All I need is I'm going back to the hotel because I'm about to die. It's freezing. What's up, my loves? It is Sunday, so happy Sunday. New vlog is going up. I'm on my way to Starbucks to post it for you guys. Um, so I'm about to go to Starbucks. Ah! I'm about to go to Starbucks and get some food and chill out and um just eat some breakfast and hang out. Uh, yeah, y'all. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> um, I'm waiting to hear back from Shanae today to get a more of a better update on the home, but everything is going straight. Like I told you guys on Friday, everything is good. Um, I'm super, super excited about that, y'all. I did not remember on my YouTubers. I intentionally take thumbnail pictures, but I totally, I totally forgot this time. So anyway. But yeah, we're on our way to Starbucks and we're about to um, get some breakfast and edit. Well, I'm done editing, but upload this video so I can get it up for you guys one time. What you gonna drink? Is that sweet? Is it really good? I kinda want something hot, but I don't know. I don't drink, I don't eat Starbucks. I don't do Starbucks. I don't know what to order. Bacon Gouda and egg sandwich. For the bacon Gouda for you, right? Yes, please. I got a lot done, but um, this man got me climbing, <laughs> climbing Stone Mountain. And it's beautiful up here, but your girl is out of shape. But it's a really pretty, look at the scenery. Isn't it pretty? It's so freaking pretty. But I want to vlog at the bottom, but once we started, I'm like, well, that's not gonna happen. So, anyway, it's really nice. We're almost, we're almost at the top, right? So we're almost at the top. I know you're growing athletic like this, so maybe the wig, the weave is sweating out, but it's fine. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a trooper, but yeah. loves um y'all i'm just now unpacking and getting settled in from getting home i got home yesterday morning um obviously i did not vlog too too much this past weekend hey girlfriend i say hi to my baby we are about to make a run to best buy why is it so bright good lord okay we're about to make a run to best buy because i think i left my memory card reader in Atlanta and I got some content due to Revlon today. <laughs> you laughing? No. Don't you're always laughing at me. Love you. Um, love you too, baby. Um, so yeah, I, I think I left it. I just searched through everything and I don't see it. So um, the stuff is due today. So I've got to make sure I get that done. But anyway, shout out to Rare Beauty for sending me this cute little hoodie. I just threw this oh, on. What? No, it's for me. You always trying to steal things that belong to me. I'm just saying. I'm really a hater. Anyway, very cute. They also sent me a little um, travel bag too, but it's super cute. Um, look at the stank face. She mad. You jealous? Yeah, y'all. I gotta give y'all. Well, first of all, there is no barely a big update about the house. Everything is in full swing. We are closing next Friday, so next vlog will be closing day. We'll do a um, empty house walkthrough tour, and yeah. Popping bottles. We probably ain't be popping no bottles. I'm gonna be my mama. But anyway, <laughs> it's gonna be very exciting. Huh, baby? 
I'm pretty sure there's a makeup day for picture day. I will call up there and ask, okay? Mm -hmm. On Monday, when school gets open again. Amir's on spring break this week, so um, we're hanging out. So I'm trying to think, what else do I need? I'll grab my purse, throw on my watch, and we're gonna head to Best Buy, and hopefully they have what I need, because I need to get back home and edit. Where's the fluffy thing on my camera? It's not there. You're always losing the fluffy thing. I didn't lose it. It's at home, it's in the camera. Yeah, Amir thinks she knows stuff. We was just jamming in the car. Amir be embarrassed. You be embarrassed when I be jamming. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nice. Ready? So you tell her. Oh, did you be embarrassed? No. <laughs> okay, you ready? Let's go see if they got what I need. We have zero food. <laughs> zero food. We just been trying to make it these past couple days. I gotta take this hair down, y'all. This weekend. When my scalp is set up, I need a full wash. Girl, what did I do yesterday? Sleep, on and off, all day, all day. Hi, welcome to Hello. Uh, just a heads up, if you're going to need back to a sales rep, we need to give you our sales team. That's how we're getting reps to customers. Other than that, you're free to go shopping. You just may have trouble finding a rep on the floor. Okay, sounds good, thank you. And there's no one in here, so I'm taking this off. Oh, Amira, we can go look at other stuff while we're here too. What? You wanna go look at some refrigerators? Yeah. Okay, wait, let me get what I need first. Oh, man. Oh, goodness, Amir, we can do that kind of stuff. It's so exciting. Are you excited? Yeah. He pretty much just told me no one's going to help me out, so. What do you say? Those are memory cards. I already have a memory card. I want a memory card. All right, y'all, we're in the queue. We're in the queue waiting for somebody to help us out. They literally have no one working here. Everybody is, like, low on staff, but Amir and I are looking at fridges now. <laughs> Our house is missing a fridge, so. Yeah, this one, Amira, this one is not a screen. This one where you can see directly through it. Amira, I don't even, oh, here's one with the, with the screen on, Amira. The Samsung. This is the one that we saw. We don't want this color. We would want the silver one, but this is the one. You like this one? Yeah. Oh, but this, this, oh yeah, this one has water. I am about to say this, this one has water. And our thing has a water line next to it, so we'd be good with the water line. Scan now to try the full demo. Let's do it. Let's do it. Amir just found one. It doesn't have a screen, but y'all look at the inside of this fridge. Look at the Isn't wood this cute? with the wood in there. And that wood. That is so cute. Does it slide? What the heck is this? What's the point? Is it just the aesthetics? What's an LG? This is really like very cute. I thought that was food. <laughs> Where'd you go? Do you know how I've been living without you? did our makeup normal smegula regular smegula our normal regular smegula makeup that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> who just texted me yeah. and um yeah i just got dressed amira and i great news about my baby girl my baby's getting a phone today so <laughs> so we're about to head out and go to the provider to get her a phone um 
What perfume, perfume do I want to wear today? Let me just go ahead and do my regular smegula, um vanilla woods. But yeah, we are about to head out and then we're going to go to... Where are we going? Y'all gotta take this wig, we this weave out like desperately. I gotta take it out. But because it's itching like crazy. Y'all know how my scalp is. It's very, very dumb. But we are going to go. Um where else are we going today, y'all? I am just rambling at this point. I'm a little a little off. We need to go by Target and then we're just gonna go to lunch. Um tomorrow I'm gonna go and take some pics and we're gonna go to the mall because y'all we need and outfits for closing next Friday. Right now, I can't remember if I've told you guys that we're closing next Friday, but we are. So me, Amira, and my mom are headed to Atlanta next Thursday to close. Definitely need these because my hands are very, very ashy. Yeah, we are headed to Atlanta to close next week. Um, we'll get there Thursday. I personally will be there. Ah! Oh my God, it almost went down. I personally um, will be there till Tuesday, but Amira will be there with my mom until Saturday night or Saturday morning. And then two days after I get back, I'm going to Dallas with the girls. So for Devin's birthday. <laughs> so next two weeks, y'all, we gonna be a traveling, okay? But anyway, I'm excited to get into the house and to, you know, I got all my appointments set to get everything turned on and, you know all of the things so that's really what i've been doing the past couple of days and making sure that my lender has all of the information that they need to finalize the loan and just all of the blessings i'm just so 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 grateful to god and i had um all week is it's been kind of delayed because i needed a form from the irs that i lost and didn't know where it was and so i've been looking for it ever since i got back home on monday and i could not find it like and i also if you have ever tried to get in contact with the irs you know it is hard so i called them multiple times this week they hung up on me one time one time their system hung up on me and then um i started to make an appointment with them as soon as i hung up for making an appointment this morning god told me exactly where it was i literally went to the spot opened up the folder and she was staring right at me <laughs> i was like lord you know what i like you <laughs> i knew i was rocking with you for a reason and yeah that was the last thing i needed to provide for my loan and so everything is on the up and up and i'm so grateful and excited y'all see me being chaotic child ain't nothing new there i'm gonna show you guys what we are wearing real quick which is pretty pretty um normal nothing super special it's a little cold outside and it's a little drafty and and rainy too so i think i miss trash day and that is like the most horrible thing to miss as an adult and i'm very upset about it but anyway y'all this is what we are wearing i have on my um prada bag which matches this skims um bodysuit let me move this let me move my hair out the way so y'all can see yeah, I'm wearing this Skims bodysuit with these ripped jeans, my leather blazer, Prada bag. I'm about to just throw on some boots, and these are the vibes. Y'all know I'm always looking for an, uh, an opportunity to wear my Prada bag, but it matches this bodysuit perfectly. So, this is what we're doing. Amira, are you ready? No. Amira, you said you were ready. Okay, fine. Guess we're not going to get you a phone then. You want a phone or no? Nah? Come on, man. All right, y'all. Let's go. Somebody is about to go get a phone. Who's excited? Me. <laughs> I was going to wait and get a mirror phone this summer when she's about to go to middle school, but I want to be able to keep up, keep keep in contact with her friends that are in St. Louis since we're about to move. So she getting one early. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Can I believe I'm buying a phone for my child? How old am I? Good Lord. 33. I'm not 33 yet, but you let me have the rest of my 32nd year? <laughs> Y'all, I'm be trying to age me. I'll be 33, but let, let, let that time come. For now, we 32. Okay, baby. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? It's an exciting day. Day. Your mama's an exciting day. That make sense. Come on. No, it didn't make sense. Hi. Um, I need to add a phone to my account. 
Okay. Maya. Maya, Maya, you look real nice today. Thank you. Um, kind of. I just know I want an iPhone when I'm getting a phone for my daughter on my plan. First phone? It's our first phone. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> How do you say you're Maya? M-A-Y-A. -A. Mm -hmm. I'm what do you do for work? Um, I'm self-employed. Self-employed? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'm a YouTuber. Yeah. I eat the camera. <laughs> cool. Like, what is your, um, look, I'm going to get your channel. Yeah, for sure. iPhone 12. I mean, the 12s are on display, but they look just like They look the, just like the 13s, yeah. This is a 13 mini and... The regular. Mm -hmm. so you said regular. you want the regular size, right? Oh, Not yeah. the mini size? So it'll be down. So the normal like 12. Or so I do get a better phone. You do have a better phone than me, but I'm going to get the 13 soon. I just, I'm waiting for this house stuff to calm down. Only for a minute, you're gonna have a better phone than me. You happy? Yes. <laughs> All right, y'all, my baby, she ordered her phone. She's a little upset because she thought she was gonna have her phone today. But I told her, you know, you wanna get what you want. They have the little uh, iPhone 12 mini available, but she doesn't want a mini. She wants the regular size phone. So look at her face. Focus on you. Come on, focus. There we go. <laughs> But she's still excited though. So they're shipping it. Hopefully, prayerfully, we'll get it tomorrow. We're about to go in here and eat at our favorite spot and look at phone cases on Amazon. Y'all, they know who I they knew who I was at ATT. That was cool. That was cool. That was very cool. Tell them the whole story. I'm not gonna tell them the whole story. <laughs> that, that is the story. <laughs> that is the story. Anyway, you ready to go eat? Yeah. Let's roll. I'm so happy I came and checked this parking spot. Uh -oh. All right. Let's go eat. I can't wait to get me a mimosa. I feel like I haven't had me a little, little drink a drink in a minute. You know what I'm saying? You want to take my picture after we're done? No, let's go. The past couple weeks, I've been horrible about getting photos for my uh, thumbnail. So, ah! I thought you were about to say horrible at eating. No, I've been horrible at getting photos for my thumbnail, so I need to be more intentional this week. I wish I would have went and took a picture at the, at the top of the mountain on... Um, on Sunday, oh but God, it's cool. That wouldn't fit the aesthetic anyway. Oh Today, guys, we are not really rushing out. We're, we're grabbing stuff to head up out of the house because Amira and I are having a little girl's day, spring break. So she also got her phone in the mail this morning. So she's very happy. We spent most of the morning, you know, setting her up and downloading her apps and, you know, putting my parental controls on her. You know what I'm saying? So we spent most of the morning doing that. And now um, I just got done getting dressed and doing my makeup and I am grabbing all of my things to switch my purse out so we can get on up out of here. Y'all, when I tell you my house has not looked like this in a very long time, it's been a long time since I've allowed my house to look the way it does right now, but I'm, you know, told you on the last vlog, we're giving ourselves grace. It's totally fine. Um, it's okay, because a lot of transition and things are happening. Then we're headed back out to Atlanta next week, so I'm not really that worried about it. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, hold on before I put this in my purse. What is this? I did get a quote this morning for um, 
a moving company to move my stuff like they had to do like a virtual thing where I showed them around the house everything I'm taking and stuff like that and y'all that quote was ridiculous I've been trying to avoid like driving my car down to Atlanta and then you know having to get someone to drive a U-Haul but at this point that's exactly what we're gonna do because the way that price looked and it didn't even include um the car being shipped like I was like Maya is it really worth being lazy you know what I'm saying all that money I could be spending on furniture and you know other things that I can physically like see and I can just drive I definitely can say that I just made the conscious decision to go ahead and drive down to Atlanta when it's time to move and to um get a U-Haul so that's what we're doing um this is what we are wearing uh just a bodysuit that is from Macy's I'll try to link it below or something similar um also these leggings which are from Naked Wardrobe my Gucci flats and then this um blazer oversized blazer which is from H&M and my Fendi bag so this is the vibe for today also I've been meaning to tell you guys that I just started a LTK shop that used to be like to know it a reward style so if you have an account on reward style uh or like to know it definitely make sure you guys follow me I've only done one post so far but I'm trying to make sure that I'm posting on it maybe every other day or every time that you know there's links and stuff that you guys can have direct access to so if you are not following me on there which nobody is because i'm just telling you <laughs> go ahead and do that because i'm gonna be trying to start linking everything and be better about that i'm so bad about linking stuff it's not even funny so hi new phone girl you ready no ready to go no amira looks so cute today y'all she looks so freaking cute the plan today we are about to go and um we're about to go eat because Amira has not eaten yet. She's so excited about her phone. She still hasn't even fed herself. So, or I haven't fed her. I don't know whose fault that is, mine or hers. But anyway, <laughs> we're about to go and get some Mexican food. And then we're going to head to the mall. We are going to be finding an outfit today for Amira and I for closing next week. For closing. Very next exciting. Week. And then uh, I want to go buy Reservation Hardware because I really want to get a better explanation of their design services. Because I really wanted to do like my bedroom and my living room area my main living area restoration hardware but you know what i'm saying i'm not sure how much that costs or what the process is and all that thing all that stuff so i kind of want to go by there not only to look at things and you're up <laughs> not only to look at things but also to just ask some questions um in person and just get a good understanding of everything so because that may may not be happening because shout out to all these people out here trying to take my money for this for this move and i ain't got i ain't got time i ain't got time oh i thought you were gonna get in the frame with me <laughs> crazy all right y'all let's go no, let's not go. I need perfume. I need perfume. I need perfume. You didn't spray yourself yet? I really want to want to wear this. I got this at the fragrance event a little while ago. But I'm just, Lord, I'm always just stuck on the same old thing, child. Let me go ahead with my C by Giorgio Armani. And just do, do what I know. You know what I'm saying? Do what I know. Yo. I'm coming, man. You just need to hold your little horses. Hi, sweetie. No. I'm also, let me put this uh, bracelet on as well. Let me put this bracelet on as well. Come here. What? Would you just do something with yourself? You laughing? No. Hi, child. Now let's go. <laughs> All right, kid. Let's get some food. I am hungry. But you know, I knew I had some coolant, so I went to my sister's house to get it. But I couldn't, my, my brother-in-law put it in last time and he is at work. So 
I was like, let me just go get it. And I was like sitting in the car for five minutes trying to read the manual to see like what to do. <laughs> Y'all didn't even know how to pop my dog on lid. lid. It was what so it? easy. Pop the my, lid? yeah, I know. It was so easy. You just had to boom and then boom. Tell me so about easy. it. But anyway, uh, I just was like, let me just call Dodds because they always do the work for me. And I was like, let me find out if they can just like top me off. That's, nice. that's where we are right now. They're about to fill in. 2016? Uh-huh. Yeah, so they're about to top me off right now. Because my light has been coming on and off ever since it was cold. But, child, look. I don't know how to do this stuff. And they're right in the mirror. That's what I called them. I was like, um, do y'all, uh... <laughs> no, do y'all, uh... Uh, I, I'm a customer, y'all. I need some coolant. I, and I don't know help. what to do. Can y'all do that for me? He's like, yeah, just pull up. I was like, thank you, Jesus. But they're out there right now. Uh, doing what I need them to do, child. I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Things adults are happy about. Look, yes, that's what adults are happy about. And me, getting cool. We're just trying to make sure the right stuff. Yeah, absolutely. They trying to make sure the coolant I brought is the right one. The guy told me on the phone he was gonna use his own. So I mean, don't be looking at my bottle all weird. <laughs> I did. I made. Some, I did hard work to f make sure I had the right kind of coolant. <laughs> you laughing at me? <laughs> that's why I need. That's why. That's why we need a man. He can handle this kind of stuff. Why are you staring at me? That man is crazy. I know why she's staring at me. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh, that was great. He topped off my washer fluid. What's that? The, you know when we got the air, the things going mm -hmm. and the, the, the stuff comes up to clean the windshield? Yeah. That was oh. low. I knew I made the right decision coming here. Once, once, once I'm living with a man, he gonna be doing all of this. I'm not gonna be driving the dogs. I might even be doing none of that stuff. I, God I, willing. I miss Dobbs. Though. You miss Dobbs? I'm, gonna miss. I'm not going to miss Dobbs. Dobbs always have the nicest people. They do have nice people, but child, ain't nobody trying to deal with this stuff. This is for the birds. Birds? This is for the birds. You hear me? Oh. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're at the mall now. And we are All right, y'all. We're at the mall now. We're about to... Don't be mocking me. Don't be mocking we're me. about to find something to wear for next week. It's going to be a movie. I'm excited. But first, we're going to Forever 21 for Amira and see if she sees anything that she likes. But I just feel like if you don't find anything that you do have something to wear, right? Yeah. You have something you like that you can wear? Maybe. Maybe? Maybe. Well, let's go find out. We're about to run into uh, Sephora and see if they have vanilla woods in stock now since they never have it. We're, we're gonna find out. Hi, do you guys have vanilla woods in stock right now? Okay, how can I get my hands on the spray? Have you tried Galleria? Yeah, they're out too. Okay, I know it smells nice. I know it's my favorite. <laughs> Are you the insider? I am. When you I put you the Roge 20% off today. Okay, cool. That's fine. 2652. Okay. Thank you. Have a good Thank day. Thank you. You too. left the mall i need to put some hand cream on because i am ashy y'all thank you guys so much for watching see you guys next time bye come here, come here stop doing that i love doing that <sighs> anyway um um we just left the mall i did get a couple of um i was able to get a couple of options for my what i want to wear next week so um, I got a dress from H&M and then I got this orange set and I think I might show it to you guys that way you guys have a chance to kind of vote on them because I'm deciding which one I'm going to actually wear um, the orange I one well, orange. you say orange I said 
I'm going to actually try them off for you guys either tonight or tomorrow so that you guys can tell me beforehand what y'all think and what y'all think I should wear. But it's between those two because it's a movie child. I'm taking lots of pictures and videos. So we are about to run into Plaza Frontenac because we are about to go to RH. Yeah, that's rest restoration hardware because I really want to ask them these questions and take pictures of some items that I might want or not might that I am going to purchase. Because now we're we're doing more than just window shopping. We are actually, well, we're kind of still window shopping because obviously I ain't buying none until I pay my money down on this house. But um, I'm not buying nothing obviously until I put the money down on this house next week. But um, at least like I'm actually planning rooms now. So I'm excited to, you know, See what they got in here and actually look forward to purchasing so yay last time i went to rh i didn't even know the house i was gonna have so now that i have you know i know that it's like it's different so how y'all doing good how you doing hello i'm well how are you um i had some questions about you guys's um design services because I'm, I'm moving to atlanta but so i would be utilizing it down there but i wanted to get like an explanation of how it works mm -hmm. the timeline and that type of thing yeah so. um so anything that you do would come with the membership are you familiar with the membership oh yeah so i'm familiar with that i'm not a member yet but i plan on yeah so that would be the 175 a year and then that would include the 25% off of all of our products plus the interior design services. So okay. if you have floor plans of the space, you could just send them in to our, whatever designer you're working with. And okay. We can start actually like mapping everything out, making sure it would fit in your space, going through a full design presentation with you okay. and, and really just kind of designing to the scope that you want. So whether you want something that's you know fully layered and put together like this, or uh -huh. you just need like your core pieces, the designer will work with you to really kind of hone in on what you're looking for, for okay that. and now the timeline can just depend if you're needing to go 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 and move really fast uh -huh. we can start moving really quickly okay we've got people who don't have their homes ready for the next like nine months that we start working with mm -hmm. um and then in terms of when the pieces are delivered that also just kind of depends because we've got okay. in stock pieces that could arrive to you within two or three weeks uh-huh or we've got custom order pieces that could take a couple months to come months in because you do different fabrics different colors gotcha different finishes and all of that okay probably start with like an initial design consultation they're okay. usually about two hours to really sit down and understand who you are how you want the space to function what your space looks like if you've got a pinterest board if you've got mm -hmm. bookmarks in a magazine or anything like that then uh -huh. the designer will take all of that into consideration and make sure that it feels like you. okay sounds good that's not that's a seamless process Ooh. i like this uh, i like this bed I love this bed. Was it this head more? Was it this more? Did she talk very really professional? She was very professional. I really also want the mirrors above my nightstands as well. I love that. Now, is this the track arm sofa? Let's find out. Yeah, track arm, but it's not the cloud. They have a cloud track arm sofa. How does that feel for you? It feels good. I mean, I love this because I definitely want my furniture in my living room. To be white. You love it here? I like this. Let me sit on that couch. Oh, man. Look. Oh, I'm here, Richard. Oh, this feels good. You like this? Yeah. I haven't got enough. That's why I didn't move. Okay. I do like this. Fire, I like this fire. a lot. Let me get a better view of it so the girls can see. Love this for my living room. Also love this big mirror, but obviously, I don't know. It's really, really huge, though. But... This is pretty. I really love this couch. I like this coffee table too. See, all of these have that those mirrors over the over the nightstands. I love that. I love this bed too. But I feel like I could find a dupe of this bed that's not so expensive. So many movie nights. So many movie nights? Yeah. This is true. Where's the tag for this couch? I mean, for this bed. This couch. Here it is. I think I like that bed over there more than that bed with the wood trim on it. I think I like that better. Now this is my style. For a dining table. 
No, that too. I like that too. And I think that's the cloud platform that I was talking about. How's that feel? It feels good, but not as soft. Does it feel soft? Is this comfy? Yeah. It's a mirror. Where? Up there? No. Oh. On the wall. Uh, okay, so where's the fucking The windows are so. The, uh, get up. So yeah, I'm sitting on the cloud couch right now, but it's for me, I can't, I know they have a cloud couch that has like a track arm to where it's more structured. I am not crazy about the cloud couch because I don't like how it looks so slouchy, you know? Let me show you guys. I don't like how slouchy it looks. Like the back doesn't sit up. It's just like a big old pillow, which of course is extremely comfortable, but I just like a more structured couch, you know? It doesn't seem like pulled together and clean and you know, that's why I don't like it, but it's super comfortable. But I wanna, I'm trying to see if they have a track arm one in here. Come on, Mira. Uh, Mira's over there enjoying herself. Yeah. You're really having fun, huh? Mira, why are you sitting on everything? <laughs> I'm ready to go. I saw everything I wanted to see. No, it doesn't work, honey, because we're at the store. You're at the store. You're at the store. Yeah, let's go. What's up, my loves? Happy Saturday. I am sitting here doing my makeup because we are about to go to brunch with the girls. Um, Sierra and Tara actually came over last night. Um, I gave them some makeup. They were going through some piles. And child, we was having such a good time. I forgot to turn on my camera. <laughs> so that was fun with them last night. And, um... Now we are about to go to brunch. CJ can't make it because she has another engagement for brunch, but or luncheon that she's going to. But we are going to kick it with the girls. I feel like I haven't like sat down and talked to you guys this week really. I feel like I kind of been on the go when you guys have seen me because I haven't really been on the go. I've been like, and I'm being so lazy right now, y'all. I did not want to take my lashes off. Well, I did my eyeshadow today because I slept in my lashes. So don't mind my laziness, child. It's much easier if you actually take them off. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've just kind of been on the go when I've had my camera on this week. Um, this week, I really have been taking it easy. I haven't had a lot of stuff due. So I really have been trying to spend more time with Amira this week because she's been on spring break. So most of this week has been spent, you know, with her camera off, not really working. But then also in the meantime, like I told you guys, you know, setting things up for the house, um, finalizing my um, forms for closing on my loan, putting utilities in my name, doing all those kind of things have been this week. So I've been trying to grab my camera and vlog in the moments where I am doing something. And then today um, after brunch, I am going to come home and show you guys the two different fits i'm thinking about for next week that way you guys can comment below and let me know what y'all feeling you know what i'm saying and then we can decide together sis amira said orange but we'll get into that later i've been loving this climax um this climax by nars yeah climax liquid liner from nars but it is finally running out but i'm gonna get i'm gonna get it for all it's worth child i'm gonna get it for all it's worth it ain't worth much love no more though, John. It ain't wor worth much. Um, next week I don't want to miss another video, so we're gonna do. I'm planning on doing a um, a get ready with me where I just talk to you guys about some things that's been going on. Um, I mean I know I do that in my vlogs, but you know I'm gonna share a little something more with y'all. Uh, and we're just gonna kick it maybe next week. We we next Wednesday, I think that's the video we're gonna do. It's crazy these days how quick and fast I can do a wing. But yeah, y'all, I have had some developments personally happening and I've just been so happy, y'all. I've been so freaking happy. <laughs> I've been really happy lately and I'm just so excited for what God is doing in my life right now. It's like God had like this idea and it's like, boom. Like he just sprinkled and was like, yep, this time. Like that's... <laughs> that's how I feel like about my life right now just how so many things are aligning um in my favor and I'm just 
I'm just in a state of utter gratefulness, honestly. And I'm using my um, Edge Slick from May's Hands Hair Care, which is, y'all know, Tara's hair care company. I will link that below. But yeah, y'all, I just, I'm just in a state of gratefulness and just really excited for my future right now and especially with this new chapter in Atlanta like I'm just so excited for this chapter I'm so freaking excited so I feel like God has already given me some things that I haven't expected you know that's coming along with this chapter and I'm just here for it and I'm excited just just to be along for the ride of what God has for me um so yeah y'all that's it <laughs> more details later more details as of later but this this uh this sewing is coming out this weekend and i'm gonna re, -up, re put it back in my butt left all this all this leave out and has not put this in a ponytail not once sis not once i'm gonna do a couple of transitional thingy things for the makeup uh we'll get dressed and then we'll head to brunch it's not that i don't want So we have an extreme dilemma. I cannot find my Bottegas. How you lose a whole pair of shoes? I know I took them to my to Atlanta with me. I did not wear them while I was in Atlanta last weekend. But y'all, when I tell you I cannot find these shoes, and I vividly remember taking them out of my luggage. So I guess I'm just trying to figure out what the heck happened. Like, what the heck happened? I have so many boxes over here, y'all. So I'm gonna move this mirror over here so y'all can see the outfit. Like I desperately right now want to be wearing my potatoes. Like they are so freaking comfortable and perfect for brunch. But child, I don't know where they are. And it is making me so upset. Like it is making me so mad. Very simple vibes, y'all. We have on a tube dress from Naked Wardrobe. It's a midi, so it goes right below the knee. Um, I put on these strap sandals. I've had these for a very long time. I'm pretty sure I got them from something like Shoe Dazzle or Just Fab or something like a long time ago. And I would say they're slightly small. Like <laughs> my feet are barely like, you know, along the edge in the front. It's not too bad. It's not uncomfortable or anything, but yeah. I have on this trench, which is from H&M. I will make sure that I link that below. Prada bag, which matches this Skims. And yeah, y'all, these are, these are the vibes. This is what we're doing today. Um, it's like 40 something degrees outside. So I was like, you know, if I'm feeling good, I can take the coat off, but if not, like it's chilly. So I like having the trench and it's giving grown and sexy vibes. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not even about to front. I want my shoes. Those are my favorite shoes. And I know I'm just having a brain fart. Like I know I must be overlooking it for some reason. So I'm just ir irritated right now, but we're not gonna let that mess up the day, child. I just tore up this closet looking for him and I don't know where to get. Anyways, I'm starving. So I'm about to go ahead and head to brunch. The girls might be a little bit later than me, but at least I can get me a little mimosa or something, child. Cause, whew, I probably should eat something before that. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> oh my God, did y'all hear my stomach? Perfect timing, let's go. Y'all, I was thinking about my shoes the whole time on my way here. I'm so upset. Where are my shoes? I want my shoes. I'm not happy about that. I'm about to go in here and I'm gonna sit at the bar and wait for the girls to get here. I might just sit there and just wait. Um, 
thing is tied. I just love this jacket. It is just so freaking cute. Yep. Don't be looking at me weird because I got a camera in my face. I always assume that's why people look at me weird. <laughs> they probably don't even be thinking that. Maya, just relax. So it's been a while since I talked to y'all because we left brunch a little bit earlier and I went back home. I had to run some errands, take my mama somewhere. So now we are about to, and we're about to do something. I think they want to go to like a little hookah bar or something like that. Something like this, some place they've been going to that's on the loop. So I think that's what we're about to do. Um, so it should be fun, a little girl's day. When I was at home, I ended up not doing the try on, but I am going to still show you guys the outfits later on tonight <laughs> <laughs> Tara's putting her shoes on I'm coming okay. it's fine it's fine oh it's the sun for me it's the sun for me oh yes yes you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. I love it hey um what what Tara Tara said we can be making videos with our girl the lighting is coming from this way I'm just it's giving it's giving <laughs> I got the little piece you gave me. Is that all you need? Yeah. Is you show? Is you show? Is you show? I'm show. Is you show? Well, you look cute, Tara. I know. I'm just about to. Let me see you. Wow. Hey. Wow. Hey. Wow. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, there she go, her too. <laughs> and we all do it this time. Putting up peace signs every time you see a camera. You did it. Didn't even know that's what we were talking about. <laughs> Hilarious. Cheers. 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 <laughs> I forgot last night I got in pretty pretty late and I was unable to show you guys the outfits so we gonna run through them real quick so that you guys can give me a little vote and let me know what y'all think also we have an update I found my Bottegas <laughs> right where I had left them and I overlooked them like crazy yesterday that's why I gotta can't be out here rushing like this sis can't be out here rushing I am whispering because Amira is still in the bed so let's try on these two outfits y'all let me know what you think I feel like the options that I have are completely different from each other and they give different vibes so I'm trying to figure out what type of vibe am I going for so I have been seeing this dress at H&M so much and I've been always wanting to get it I tried it on the other day and I loved it so it's similar to that other blue dress that I wore from H&M um on I think my last solo day vlog but I really love it I feel like it's giving like you can you know do a little cleavage it's cinched at the waist you know it's has some sexy vibes to it it's got a slit and it's open here in the front so I feel like this is giving I'm a grown woman in my 30s and I am closing on my first home you know it's sophisticated it's sexy you know I feel like it gives a different vibe in the next one the next one's a little more sexier you know vibes so let me know 
what you guys think about this i would wear it with my bottegas that i just found thank you the lord um but yeah let me know what you guys think about this i think that it's really cute and that it's just very sophisticated and you know like i just said grown and sexy closing on the house so that is option number numero uno all right, y'all, so this is our second option. This set is from Express, um, and I love it because number one, spring, you know? It's a little bit more vibrant than it's coming across on camera, but I love it. I feel like it's sexy without being too revealing. It's not a cleavage out barely at all. You can barely see my mole on my chest. Um, I love this detail here. It is, a, it is a set, it's not a dress, so it does tie back here in the back. And I love how it makes the body look. Um, I love that it's, you know, sexy but yet modest. And I feel like if I wore this, I would wear it with white accessories. So I'm gonna go put on my white shoes and my Chanel bag so you guys can see pretty much how I probably would do this. But yeah, this one is still giving like grown and sexy. You know, I'm closing on my house, but it's like giving more sexy and the other one's giving more sophisticated is my opinion. So um, let me throw on the white accessories with this so y'all can see. So I know I've complained before about my Chanel bag and how it's not extremely white, so it doesn't really match like a white shoe, but I feel like this works. I like it. So um, let me know what you guys think. I think if I did wear this, I would go with white unless you guys have another option or suggestion. So yeah, so between these two options, y'all let me know in the comments which one y'all like the most. I will pin the comment at the bottom so you guys can respond to that comment in particular. So that way I can see all the votes for it. But you know, I feel like it really depends on the vibe that I'm going for. They both say something a little bit different than the other one, so. Anyway, babes, I have been editing the video all day. I'm about to go ahead and put these uh, clips on the end, export it and get it out. It'll be smidge late. But anyway, I love you guys. And I will see you guys on our next vlog, which will be closing day and empty house tour. So I'm excited. I love y'all. And.